Okay guys, so this is part three out of four on how to run a successful web design business and generate passive income as well by automating some tasks that your client will gladly pay for. Again, this is part three out of four. So there's another previous two videos. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below if you haven't watched them before. Maybe you can start from there. Okay, so let me show you those two different methods now. Okay, so welcome back to our WP MU Dev dashboard. So last week we covered those security and performances uh, items. So today we're going to look at SEO and also analytics. So clearly these are two different avenues that you can charge money for. You can optimize your uh, customer's website and charge a little fee, a monthly fee, obviously, for this as well. And they'll be glad to pay uh, money for that, obviously, you know. And then as you can see here again, we covered that last week, but we're going to do that again today. You can send them a report as well which is going to show them what type of work has been done and all the tasks that have been uh, looked after okay so let's go and take care of the seo first so let's go and click on seo so we select our website seo click on the small icon so basically this will provide you with an ultimate bundle of seo tools and services so very very handy indeed and again you can charge your customers for this type of services so here we have the use config setup as well so if you were to click on this you can save your settings and use them here several times so if you have multiple accounts and you're doing providing the same service with different accounts and different uh, customers you might use this instead of installing the same settings over and over and repeating the same task so you can have that all set up automatically and done for you for all your different accounts so it's going to save you a lot of time so for now, we're going to go through it manually. So I'm going to show you how to set this up for one website, and then you can repeat the process with others. So let's click on install. So there you go, guys. As you can see, we have an SEO score of 62, which is quite low. It's still in the green, but it's quite low, to be honest. So there's a few things we have to take care of, obviously, you know. As you can see, we have nine issues found. So this, with, this is our quick SEO checkup. And if we scroll down the page, this is all the tools and features that we can use. So we have a site crawler. We have the content analysis, we have the social, and everything that's got to do with title and meta tags as well. Very, very important indeed. So let's go back uh, to the top here and let's have a look at our issues. So let's click on this and let's find out uh, what's happening. So I'm going to open this in a new page altogether. And as you can see, this is going to bring us to the back end of our website. So as you can see here, we have the few different uh, issues that, that were found, nine in total. So let me uh, zoom in a little bit so it's probably easier to read. There you go. So as you can see, we have five icon, a meta description, open graph, robot.txt. So let's find out what exactly is happening. So five icon here. So if we click on this, the problem is that we couldn't find a five icon for your website. So what's a five icon? As you can see here on top, uh, next to the WPMU dev, we have a small logo. This is the small icon. This is a five icon, favorite icon. That's what it's called, okay? And as you can see, we have just a, a small earth here uh, icon, which is the default one for Google Chrome, which means that we don't have one. So what can we do? We can add a five icon. So we can do this immediately from here. So let me hide myself. As you can see, we have a, a button here and we can do it immediately from here. You saw it's very easy for us to actually fix the issue. So let's click on that. And this is going to bring us immediately to the customization tools of WordPress without us having to go and actually access those settings. And then from here, all we have to do is to go into site identity and upload our site icon. So let's do that together. So let's select, skip cropping, and there you go. Now, as you can see, we have the logo just next to the description of our website, our title. So now we can publish and that's it, all done already. So this is one issue sorted in just a few seconds. So let's exit out of this now, and we are brought back to our page. So let's have to uh, look at the second one here, meta description. And again, very, very important. As you can see, you know, we couldn't find a meta description tag for your homepage. So we can do this as well. So add description. Very good. So from here, as you can see, this is what you see on Google. So if you were to type the domain name here, Mr. Web Reviews, and you can see this website in the search results, that's what you see. And as you can see, this is not really SEO friendly at all. Now you can see from here, this is the report from the homepage. So this is what people will see if they land on your homepage. And what does it say here? It says home original site and then the domain name itself. 
So that doesn't say much to the customers what is our website about and it's not really SEO friendly at all. So let's go to our website here. As you can see, this is our homepage. And if I hover on top here, it will show exactly the description. So we need something a bit more punchy and something more SEO related that will help us be found uh, based on certain keywords. So let's address this. So we go here, we have a title and description. Okay, so let's come up with something here. Okay, so let's have a look at our website. So this one is called Outdoor Adventure, Explore the Colorful World. So this could be a website where you're selling maybe, let's say, adventure gears and everything for camping, maybe, let's say, okay. So if this was the case, let's say you're selling uh, camping equipment, let's say, okay, let's go with that. So we go here, so we're gonna put outdoor adventures, adventure, okay. And then we're gonna put a quick description of what it is that you do. So camping equipment, let's say, okay, very simple. So this is basically your brand name and sometimes a, co a close tagline, as you can see here. So maximum here, you should be 50 to 65 characters with 37. So we can add a little bit more, you know? So you want to be found based on keywords. So if camping equipment is one of your keywords, you might want to put it here immediately, you know? But we can use this as well in the description regardless. So if you don't want to have this in the title, that's really up to you. But remember, this is the first line that people will see immediately from here. So if we, again, if we go back here, as you can see, it says home, original site, and then you have a short description underneath. So this is why it is so important because this is what people will see straight up uh, from the tab and in the Google search results as well. So you have to do this very uh, carefully and put a lot of thoughts in, in what you're going to put here, okay? So let's say camping equipment and uh, let's say clothing, okay? So this would be what you provide. So this is the first line. It tells everyone exactly what it is that you do, okay? And then in the description, as you can see, maximum 300 characters. So that's quite short, you know? So if you very, be very succinct and concise as to what it is that you want to tell your visitors, okay? So let's go maybe with something like this. That would be absolutely fine. So please bear in mind that since you said already here, camping equipment and clothing, you don't have to start the description again by saying we provide camping equipment and clothing and try to keep it as short and concise as possible. So as you can see here, because they read this already, they know exactly what you do. It's outdoor adventure and camping equipment and clothing. So here you have to explain exactly what it is. So like what, for instance, but you do equipment, accessories and clothing for camping and hiking, such as tents, and then you can put the, your main sellers, your best sellers, tents, sleeping bags, portable cooker, and stoves, torches, lanterns, footwear, and clothing. Now, as you can see, we're using 154 characters at the moment, but you can use up to 300. So feel free to uh, fill in as many keywords as you can, obviously, as many uh, keywords in 300 words as possible, okay? So let's scroll down the page. So what do we have here? We have Open Graph as well. So as you can see here, Open Graph is used on many social networks such as Facebook. So it's very important as well. So what you can do basically is just to copy and paste this here as well, the exact same, okay? Or if you want to make it shorter, that's really up to you. And you can also upload an image here, which will be available as well on those social media platforms to have a preview and a featured image of your, the post that you'll be sharing as well. And we have the same for Twitter. So maybe you can, again, paste right here, uh, the title and the description as well, okay? So just after this, don't forget to save your settings. And that's us done for step number one. So if we go back to WPMU Dev dashboard here, as you can see, we still have nine issues because we have to run a check again to update these, you know? But if you refresh the page, you can see our title and meta section here has been updated with our new title and the description as well, you know? So let's run a checkup again and let's see if these issues will be resolved now. So there you have it, guys. We went from 62 right to 70 now for our score. So we're making progress, but we still have seven issues to fix. So basically, guys, what you do at this stage is to go through all the steps one by one get them fixed one after the other, and you will reach a score of 100. And after you've done this, you can send a report to your customer and charge them a small fee every month just for doing so. Okay, so now let's have a look at the analytics section. So let's click on this. 
And again, as you can see, we have to activate it, you know? So what does it say? It says beautiful analytics to monitor your website's traffic, top pages, bounce rate, and referrals. So if your customers have, are running, let's say, an e-commerce website, this is very important, you know, the bounce rate and see how many people are coming in and out of your website, which pages they visit the most, etc., etc. So this is very precious information that you can provide to your visit, your customers, sorry, and uh, charge them again a little fee every month just for doing so. So what we need to do now is just to activate it. So let's click on this. So there it is. This is the analytics page. So obviously, since we only set it up now, we only just activated it. We don't have any data to see. So as you can see, we're just setting uh, things up at the moment. So you have to wait up to 24 hours. So you have to come back, obviously, you know. But if you wait 24 hours and you come back, you will start seeing what sort of traffic is coming into your website and which pages are being uh, viewed and visited. So you have those settings here. So let's click on this. And as you can see, these are the metric types that you can select for this type of analytics. OK, so if you click on this, as you can see with the page views, unique page views, visit time, entrances, bounce rate and exit rate. So clearly, these are all the main metrics you want to get hold of and monitor. So if you want to disable or enable them, all you have to do is click on them. So let's say if you're not too interested in knowing how many people are leaving your website, you can disable that or you can just enable it by clicking on it. Again, I think you might want to keep them all enabled. And then once you're happy enough with this, with your choice, click save. And that's it basically, you know. So again, if you wait up to 24 hours, you will start seeing here all these sets of uh, stats coming up, you know, and showing up on your screen. And like I've shown you in the previous video, you can always run a report as well. So let's go in the report section. As you can see, last time it was security and performance. Now you can create a new report and send that to your customers as well using SEO and analytics the same way uh, we did that last week. So I'm going to leave again a link in the description below to the previous video so you can watch them as well or re-watch them if you've seen them already. So there you go guys, this is the end of part 3 out of 4. There's another video coming right after this so keep an eye out for that one and I'm going to show you one last thing that you can do is to how to white label your website, your tools and again, make money from it. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video.